Yo guys, what's going on? Always a Jack Custer coming back with another video. This is going to be my 2015 uh, National Sports Collectors Convention recap. Um, I don't even really know where to begin. Uh, it was it was such a fun time at Nationals. Um, just everything about it is just it's crazy. Just the show itself is. It, you just, you have to be there, and I I really hope that every collector eventually gets to go. Uh, to a national sometime over their lifetime just to experience it because this was my first time and it, it was it was just unbelievable just seeing what they have there how many cards and like memorabilia stuff and just boxes there are in one like pavilion it's just absolutely insane um there's just there were just so many cards and just there's no way anyone could go through every card, see every table, um, in, in like a five-day period. It would take you months to really just like get a good look on, on all the cards there. Um, but yeah, there were just some in, insane cards that I saw. I like, I, I had to have seen five Babe Ruth bat knobs. Um, had to have seen five Babe Ruth cut autos, maybe 10. It was just, there was just so much stuff, so many unbelievable cards, more Super Fractors than I've ever seen in my life. Um, there was the Chris Bryant Super Fractor auto there. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff. And it was, it was just unbelievable seeing all those cards because I've, 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 I've gone to shows before that I thought were really good, but it just, it doesn't compare to national. So if you ever get a chance to go, um, I'm so happy for you because it's awesome. Anyone that's gone this year or has gone before knows what I'm talking about. There's just so much stuff, um, and it's just it's just such a good time. Um, so I went Thursday and Friday. Um, before I go any further, I want to give uh, SF Giants champs three Ethan, uh, my buddy, a shout out. Spent two days with him uh, walking around at nationals, um, just doing stuff, and he's a great YouTuber, uh, he's also on Instagram, just a great guy, um, I really pre appreciate, uh, just, like, walking around with him, and we had a really good time the two days that we were there, um, but yeah, also met up with, uh, 12 Lucky on Instagram, I believe he was 37 Nationals Yankees on YouTube, I'm not sure if he still has the YouTube anymore, but it was cool meeting him, um, cool seeing guys that I'm, I'm I might never see again, but I, I've known on YouTube for a while. Um, so that was just an awesome experience as well. Um, the reason I am making this video a week after Nationals, or a little bit over a week after Nationals ended, um, is just because I, I had vacation after Nationals. So I'm finally back home. I'm going to do a recap uh, everything. Um... But yeah, it was just it, just a crazy place. Just It's such a big pavilion. Um, I think when me and my brother walked out the first day, we were like, there has to be millions of dollars of just merchandise. Um, between the cards, the memorabilia, and boxes. Just there's so much to buy there. There's so much to see. I remember... Like, going in after an hour of looking around, I'm just like, I have no idea what I'm going to spend my money on. Because I can buy everything and I would be happy with it. Um, but yeah, in the end, I didn't actually buy that much. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that later. Uh, I did not buy that much. And I, I, a couple of reasons for that. I just, I didn't necessarily want to spend all my money at one place uh, at one time. So I, I just... I picked out a few cards that I really wanted to get, um, and I still have a lot of money left over, um, that I might be picking up cards here and there, um, but yeah, I, I'm really happy with what I picked up, uh, once again, I could have spent all my money and I would have been, would have been, like, satisfied with what I got, but I, I didn't really want to just blow through all my money in, uh, one period of time, um, so I guess I'll get into the pickups. First off, I broke a box of 2014 triple threads. I actually filmed that, and I think I'm going to upload the video of it after this video. Um, but 
My first two hits were this Don Mattingly uh, Unity and uh, this Alan Craig Unity Auto. So both cards there weren't very good. Um, but my next two cards were very good. I don't have them in hand because I sold them actually the day after I, I pulled them. But I pulled an Eric Davis 1 of 1 Ruby. Then I also pulled a 1 of 1 Ruby uh, triple patch of Machado, Jones, and Chris Davis. You'll see in the the video that I upload later, but I don't know how I pulled two rubies, one of ones, in the same box uh, of triple threads. And going back to my last box of triple threads, I pulled two one of ones in that. So in four boxes of 2014 triple threads, I pulled four one of ones. So I'm not sure how that's possible. Um, I might just have to buy another box of triple threads because maybe my one of one streak will continue. Um, but yeah, that was really fun to open. Um, I sold those two to someone the next day. Um, yeah, so I don't have them right here, but you can see them in the video I'll upload after. Uh, next, this isn't card related. I mean, it's sports related. Uh, it's not card related, but I picked this up for 20 bucks and I thought it was just an absolute steal. Let me pick up my camera. Uh, it's this, this A's... Uh, throwback jersey it's really just like a nice material I got it for 20 bucks at this like little stand that had tons of jerseys um, I don't know if the guys that were there saw this but it's the 1972 patch right World Series patch so it's for 20 bucks I cannot pass this up so I'm really happy with this um, I already have a, a gold age jersey but this is like a throwback I guess so really cool there it doesn't have a, a player or number on the back but for 20 bucks I'll take it um now more into the cards uh into the big cards that I picked up actually ended up only picking up four big cards and um I do regret doing that um I wish that I did pick up a few smaller cards um I think next time if I go to nationals next year um, I definitely want to sit down and go through like the dollar boxes or the five dollar boxes and really get cards in there. What I, I didn't really focus in on that so much. I focused more on looking at like the big, uh, big tables and, and going with the big cards. But next time if I'm going, I definitely want to like take my time and sit down and really like go through um, like the dollar bins and stuff like that, because I, I think that's really, really cool, getting just like a stack of cards, just that, that look cool. Um, but I'm going to get into the big pickups that I got. Um, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you've already seen what I picked up. Um, but first card that I picked up, this isn't my first card, I'll go from worst to best. Um, but I got this Sunny Gray, uh, Dynasty Silver Auto out of 10 with the sick patch. Um, picked this up for 70 bucks, which is a really good deal considering how well he's pitching. So really, really sweet. Um, this is my first Dynasty card that I got, and these look sick. Um, one thing that I actually realized about this card, so you can see there's, uh, green, white, yellow, white, and then green. And then there's, I don't know if you can even see it, but there's a little bit of a white patch there. But when you turn the card upside down and just like lightly tap it all of a sudden there's a whole new patch that comes out so you can shake it down and there's no patch and then you can shake it the other way and then a patch appears so I don't know I just I, I realized that I guess the patch is kind of loose but I think that's kind of cool I've never really seen a card like that so awesome card for the PC this is not for Trey for sale uh, next, I did a trade uh, for this. Um, really like this card. I haven't had an auto of this guy for a while, so I, I definitely wanted to pick one up. Uh, it is this Miguel Cabrera framed uh, auto. I want to say 2014 museum. Um, gold frame, 9510 autograph. Um, just an awesome looking card. I really like these framed cards. Um, and then obviously it's graded. Uh, it's numbered 11 out of 15. 
the sweet card there. Uh, now into the two probably best cards that I picked up uh, at Nationals. Um, uh, this this one's really sweet. This is actually my first pickup on the first day. I'll take it out. Uh, it is this Ricky Henderson Tier 1 Jumbo Patch Auto out of 10. Um, number 9 out of 10 with the on-card auto, which I love. Um, the auto actually just barely stays on the card. Um, but yeah, awesome looking card. Uh, I think that's the the loop of the H and the Athletics. So, awesome card of uh, Ricky Henderson. Um, a is great. This is also going to be PC, so I'm not going to be looking to move this. Um, yeah, I think I got a pretty good deal on this too. So, awesome to have like the old school looking patch. And uh, my last pickup from Nationals, probably the best card that I got. Um, got it on the last day or second day I was there. Um, also take this out of the team bag. This is Bryce Harper Dynasty patch auto. Um with the insane just looking patch. I really like the look of the patch. Number out of 10. And the auto is absolutely perfect. You can see there. I'll see if it will focus again. Yeah. So the, the auto is just perfect. I love the silver. Um, I love the look of these dynasty cards. Um, this and the gray are just awesome looking. And um, this is just in insane condition for a thick card i've never seen a thick card with like black borders so like pristine the corners are absolutely perfect there's no chipping there are no dings or whatever um so i might even be thinking about getting this graded um i don't know i don't know if i want to take it out of the 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 dynasty seal but nonetheless just an awesome looking card um yeah, so these these two dynasty cards look really sweet together. Uh, might be picking up some more dynasty because I love the look at them. Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically it. That is my nationals recap. Um, once again, I did not spend that much. Um, uh, once again, I I could have spent a lot more, but uh, I'm gonna save my money. I'm gonna find something that I really uh, want to pick up. But once again, had a wonderful time there uh and i'm not sure if i'll go next year um i might but i might not uh, i'm still working on plans but uh if anyone's going next year please let me know i'd love to meet up with guys it was just an awesome time so that's basically it enough of me rambling uh that's all i got for now guys peace and subscribe